Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Super Quant Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for post Dark Neostorm. Wanted to do an update to the deck. It's actually been quite a while since the last update to this deck profile, but we received new support in the Dark Neostorm booster pack, uh, giving us a new monster for the main deck uh, to join the original trio of the Super Quantum monsters, as well as a new Link monster and a new Exceed monster, plus a bunch of new spell and traps. Just a whole lot of good support to help out this deck and its whole aspect of special summoning and then using uh, your main deck monsters to exceed summon into a bunch of different uh, monsters from the extra deck. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So first for the red uh, warrior, I run three super quantum red layer. With this one, if you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only use each effect of red layer once per turn. When this card is normal or special summon, you can target one super quant card in your graveyard and add to your hand. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one super quant monster in your graveyard, uh, except for red layer and special summon it, but it cannot activate its effect. So you have options to keep your consistency with your monsters on the field and also be able to add back cards uh, for the recycle. And the fact that red layer doesn't have to take up your normal summon can help give you that additional monster you may need for your exceed summon for the green uh, one i run three super quantum green layer when it's normal or special summon you can special summon one super quant monster from your hand and if this card is sent to the graveyard you can discard one super quant card to draw one card you can only use each effect of super quantum green layer once per turn so the fact that it also says that you can discard a just a super quant card means you have some options to discard some of your other cards that are on the deck including super quantal alphan strike which have kind of better effects in the graveyard and some of the effects that may be a little more difficult to get off like it's uh, shuffle effects so just being able to sh uh, you know set up your graveyard cards for their own banish effects uh, with green layer definitely does come in handy and the special summon from the hand can just keep your consistency to get out your big link monster as well neo super quantal mech king blaster magna and I also run three of the blue uh, Psychic One, uh, Super Quantum Blue Layer. When this card is Normal Summon or Special Summon, you can add one Super Quant card from your deck to your hand, except for Blue Layer. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target up to three Super Quant cards in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck. You can only use each effect of Blue Layer once per turn. So just being able to recycle a lot of your different ones uh, means uh, very helpful and definitely comes in handy for your Blue Layer. Uh, and the fact that uh, Green and Blue can both get their effects off when they are uh, normal or special summon is a big key help to keep your consistency going and the fact that they get their effects when they are um, you know even detached for exceed material just because it has to be sent to the graveyard doesn't have to be sent from the field another good key part of the deck as well and then for the new one, sadly I am missing the one, just wasn't able to pick up the third one I needed at um, Locals, but it's definitely needed at three in the deck, and that is Super Quantum White Layer. Uh, you can send one uh, non-light Super Quant monster from your hand or face up on the field to the graveyard to special summon this card from your hand in defense. And when this card is normal summon or special summon, you can send one Super Quant monster from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do, this card's attribute and level become the same as that monster's. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Super Quantum Fairy Alphan from your deck or graveyard to your hand. You can only use each effect of Quantum White Layer once per turn. So the Quantum White Layer definitely does help for your level adjustment for, uh, you know, just having other monsters to equal out the levels of maybe some of your other Super Quantum monsters on the field by sending ones from the, uh, you know, deck to the graveyard. Also sets up for cards like Blue Layer's effect or the add back off a of Red Layer. Then the fact that it's a special summon definitely does help with your plays also in the deck. And being able to search out the last of the Super Quant uh, Monsters, uh, Super Quantal Fairy Alphan. Once per turn, you can target one Super Quant Monster you control. All face-up monsters you currently control become uh, that monster's level. And you can tribute this card to reveal suit three Super Quant Monsters with different names and from your deck. And your opponent randomly picks one for you to special summon to your field, and you can send the rest to the graveyard. You can only use this effect of Fairy Alphan once per turn. So the fact that we have an additional... Uh, one in the deck now for the lineup is a big help for sure being able to reveal that with Alphan as well and then have that either sent or special summon to the great to the field which would be a big benefit for sure to get it onto the field to use uh, for sure but I like running three ofs of all of them because they definitely do come in handy just having these resources to go through for sure 
And then for the non uh, Super Quantum uh, monsters, I run three Summoner Monk. Just being able to special summon out your monsters, uh, getting out your green layer is a big key play with your Summoner Monk, being able to use the uh, special summon option with that as well, and then go for your rank four play into your uh, Super Quantal Mech Erberos is a big one for sure. I usually like to save a white layer for you know blue layer and red layer, just because green has much easier exceed options with Summoner Monk. And Summoner Monk also able to special summon out uh, Star Drawing, which can give you the benefit of the draw and also the level adjustment to a level 5 to work with Red Layer. But I don't really have too, too many uh, um, problems going into Exceed Summons off of those two for the fact that I can use White Layer to adjust its level to overlay with them. If you wanted to run an additional Star Drawing along with uh, that you can take out the one Gen X Ally Birdman I run just for being able to return a face of monster I control and like to reuse white layer is a big key one there but then being able to overlay with this and blue layer to go into your rank 3 monsters is why I like to run this but if you didn't want to run Birdman you can always take it out for a second star drawing that's more player preference right there with that card. And that's it for the monsters. Moving on to the spells, I run three Super Quantal Alphen Call Appeal. A quick play spell, if a Super Quantum monster you control is destroyed by battle, you special summon one Super Quantal Mech Beast Exceed monster from your extra deck, then you can special summon one Super Quantum monster from your hand deck or graveyard that is specifically listed on that Exceed monster in its text but negates effects, and you can only activate one Super Quantal Alphen Appeal once per turn. This card really works well with the whole special summon effect aspect of your link monster which we'll get to so definite three of for the fact that it is a quick play you can just set it up on the field so when one of them is destroyed being able to special summon one of the exceed monsters to the field definitely does help for a lot of your plays for sure and also just for the setup of your great king magnus to get off and for the field spell, I run two Mech Ship Magna Carrier, just being able to have this card uh, easily set up on the field by using Alvin Strike from the graveyard. But uh, with it, you can discard one card, then target one Super Quantum Monster you control and special summon from your extra deck one Super Quantum Mech Beast Exceed Monster with the same attribute as that monster by using it as material. And this is treated as an Exceed Summon. And you can send this card from the field zone to the graveyard to target three Super Quantum Mech Beast Exceed Monster with different names you control and in or in your your graveyard and special summon one great king magnus from your extra deck and if you do attach the targeted monsters uh, as material to it so this is the best way to set up your uh, big exceed monster great king magnus with your monsters um, other than that uh, extremely difficult to just adjust your levels for the three level 12s to get it out but using the uh, mech ship is the main method to go for and just being able to easily exceed summon out your monsters just using one of them works very well with the uh, new white layer as well just giving you that exceed option uh, also but remember you need the uh, those options are just much much easier now with this card for sure and I also run two uh, Super Quantal Alpha and Strike. This one, when you can get the shuffle effect off, it is helpful if your opponent has a pretty big field set up. But the, you know, depending on what extra deck monster they may go for, it could uh, bite you in the butt later on. But it's worth it. I also like it more just for the graveyard effect, uh, being able to set it up with green layer, then have the banish with your alpha uh, to um, you know, basically activate the uh, field spell from the deck to the field. I also have the two terraforming in the deck. This is just to help with the field spell. If you draw additional ones of these though, it's great fodder just for having a high uh, spell count for your um, uh, field spell, but also work well for the summoner monk as well uh, for discard. And I also run three instant fusion, just getting the, that additional monster from the extra deck to help with the exceed summon if I don't have the field spell. Just having these monsters as options for uh, my main three, red layer, blue, and green, is a big key help. And I don't really use life for anything else in the deck, so I like running the three of those for sure. I also run the two double summon. Uh, Brilliant Fusion was really, really good in the deck, giving you the level five Seraphonite, and then having just some of the other monsters, including the uh, Perform Mage special summons you could get off to have those monsters as resources. But that also required having the Orphus Scorpio Preta Plant uh, play style to rely on, but it just kind of becomes a dead draw if you have the Brilliant Fusion, um, you know, and those monsters draw it in your hand, because you only have the one Brilliant Fusion to work with, so you have to rely on drawing into that option, which is why I just like the double summon to go for for the additional normal summon. I also run the one emergency teleport. This is for blue layer since it's a psychic, so just another easy special summon out to the field. And I also, for other one ofs, the one reasoning. 
the one one for one and the one monster reborn the monster reborn just you know resources in the graveyard to reuse with the field spell is especially easy one for one for your uh super quantal fairy alfin and then reasoning you have so many different level monsters it's just very helpful and your opponent's really gonna have to guess which one to go for with this deck for sure for that special summon and then for the traps, the only two traps I run are the Super Quantal Union Magna Formation. Your opponent can target Super Quant cards on the field with card effects during your main phase one. And you can target one uh, quant, Super Quant <laughs> Exceed monster you control, attach one other face up monster you control to it as material. You can only use this effect of Super Quantal Union Magna Formation once per turn, but works very well with the Alphan Call Appeal since it gives you that special summon along with the Exceed monster. So just having that setup available to you. Since the Exceed monsters can't attack otherwise, unless they have material. And that is it for the main deck. Now moving on to the extra. For our Link Monster, I run Neo Super Quantal Mech King Blaster Magna. Uh, this Link uh, Summon card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, and each time a Super Quant Exceed Monster with a different name from the cards you control is Special Summon from your extra deck to a zone this card points to. Uh, you can draw one card, and if a face-up Exceed Monster this card points to is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, you can Special Summon one Super Quant Monster from your deck with the original tribute as one of those destroyed and you can only use this effect of mech king blaster magna once per turn but you have so many options once again comboing with the trap and just the new quick play spell just to keep consistent monsters coming out on the field so definitely powerful uh, link monster to go for i only run the one though if you wanted to run a second one you know, the option happens but i have a land fornicus in here just for the arrow assist with the different exceed monsters you can get out as well but that's player preference right there if you did want to run a second one of uh, that card or not and then for the other exceeds i have the one super quantum mech king great magnus now this is the easiest way to get this out, uh, especially, is with the field spell. Um, just setting up all the XC monsters gives this card different effects based on, you know, how many you have attached. I also have the two Mech Beasts Magna Liger as well. It cannot attack unless it has material, like all the Super Quantal. And once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, then target one monster on the field and destroy it. It's a quick effect. And if this card has red layer as material, once per turn, you can attach one Super Quantal monster from your hand or field to this card's material. So keeping those materials attached is very, very important just so it can attack. But the destruction with this card is very helpful for sure. I also run two Mech Beast Orboros. With this one, it cannot attack unless it has Exceed Material once again. And once per turn, you can detach one Exceed Material from this card to target one other face-up monster on the field and change it to face-down defense. This effect can be activated during either player's turn. And if it has green layer, it also gives you that uh, you know equip attach effect as well. And I also run, I have the one Super Quantal Mech Beast Grand Pulse in the deck, but I'm substituting one Dante just for the fact that Dante can set up your graveyard with some of your other cards to use as well. But if you wanted to put in a second Grand Pulse, which has a Spell or Trap Destruction effect along with the Attach, you can take out the Dante and put in the second one of this. I also have two of the new Mech Beast Luster Rex. This is the one you use with uh, White Layer. Having the attack restriction and also the attach effect, but also you can target one effect monster on the field and negate its effect uh, until the end of this turn. And it is a quick effect. If this card has uh, White Layer, you get that uh, exceed effect as well. I like to run the two of these as well, just for how easy it is to use the White Layer especially. And lastly, for the Exceed Monsters, I just run the one Exiton Knight. Uh, this can range if you wanted to run Levier as another level 3 option, or if you wanted Volcasaurus, any other rank 5 options. This final position can, you know, basically be your choice of 3, 4, 5, or even uh, 7. White Layer is a little more difficult with some of the resources we run in the deck, but still player options and preferences there. And then to finish off the extra deck, I run the one Dragoness, one Carbonala Warrior, and one Theseus. These are just for the uh, instant fusion targets. You have all the different levels to go for to assist with your special summonings for your exceed summons. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, I was very happy that I was finally able to do this deck profile. I really am a big fan of the Super Quant uh, Monsters, so glad that they got this new support. It definitely does help with the deck. But until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.